Good evening. Uh oh, that's not a good font. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. This wasn't a good idea of a t-shirt. <laughs> no t-shirt. Absolutely. <laughs> oh my God, it's gonna look weird. But anyways, that's what it is. Okay, how are you guys? Very happy. <laughs> That's not it, definitely. Okay. I'm glad to hear that. This is going to be weird, but anyways, it is what it is. Okay. My God. Okay. So turn on your cameras, guys. Let's, guys, let's start this. Um, tonight we are seven. Okay. We need Rina. No, one, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, we need Miriam and Rene, right? Du, 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 du. No, Rina, Marisabel. And was it Miguel or Rene? Can't remember. Is it raining in your house? No. No? No rain? Yes. Yes? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, it's going to be a cold night. Much better. Yes. It's much better, much better. Okay, Sandra, William, turn on your camera if you can. Let's go with the attendance. Give me a minute. We can start the class. Today's Friday, August 20th. Ada Susena Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Thank you. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Carolina Ivet Romero Avelino. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespin. Elvin Alcides de Guisabal Martinez. Present. Fatima Ifegenia Lopez Ramos. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Jocelyn is not here. Oh my God. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. And Rina Marisabel Alvarez de Chavez. Not here. Okay. Good. Let me see. I got seven. I guess Carolina hadn't joined yet. Oh, William, welcome back. I'm here, teacher. Good evening. Yep. Hi, right, good evening, William. What's up with you yesterday? What happened to you? Uh, Algo familiar, teacher. Okay, personal matters. Okay, family matters. Family matters. Okay. Is it better now? Poco. Mejor. A little bit better. Okay, good, good. I'm glad to have you back. Okay, guys, let's remember really quick. Um, what did we see yesterday? What did we talk about? About the step to to launch a, a product in the market. Mm -hmm. How to launch a product in the market? That's right. Uh, well, more than that, right? We we kind of started the whole thing right in one class. So 
but my hand okay i can see my hand okay that's weird okay uh so <laughs> sorry okay what do you remember about yesterday what were the stages on the article that you read what was the first stage Idea generation. idea generation. Yeah. Okay. Idea generation. Okay. What else? Let's do something, okay? Because this is basically the lesson plan. We have to describe specific activities that take place at the stages of the product development process. That's the topic, the product development process. Okay, so let's go on your book. One second. Okay, you have these tasks. First, let's remi remember before we have Rina and um, Rene, if they come, so they can present uh, what they were missing last stage. So first of all, do you remember the reading about yesterday? What happened in, in this reading? Can somebody remember? What do you remember about the, the role play? What happened to Rodrigo? Rodrigo wants to, want to get advices. He needed advices to do what? To create a product. To create a product, okay. He needed advice. Yeah, can you pluralize? Oh, you can pluralize advice, it's uncountable. Okay, uh -huh. so he needed advice to create a product. So what happened? What did Edgar say or help? How did he help him? Write down ideas. He broke down the ideas? Okay, okay. Yeah, that's kind of what the, the reading is about, right? So let's answer these questions first, okay? First, answer the questions. Do you think Rodrigo could develop the new course successfully by himself? Himself, why or why not? What is the step of the product development process Rodrigo is struggling with? Do you understand this concept? Struggling? Struggling? Deal, like a deal with. Uh-huh, to deal with it. Yeah, we saw it. What steps should Rodrigo take after identifying the target market for the new product? So think about this. This is very important for today's class, these questions. So I'll split you and you have to talk to your classmate about how to do this, okay? Answer the questions, number one. Number two, dejen que su compañero lo haga por sí solo. Cada uno en su libro va a hacer esto enumerar del 1 al 8 los ocho pasos del product development cycle, ¿ok? Y luego comparamos con el otro, a ver quién tenía la razón, ¿ok? Got it? Ok. Yeah. Let's do it. We are 13 now. Ok. Let's make four groups. Mm, that's too much, too many. Five groups, okay, five sounds better, but I'm having an issue here. Give me one second. Oh no, oh, okay, okay. There we go, let's go. And Carla. We need. What are we doing? What are we doing? It's on your own WhatsApp group. First, we are going to answer some questions about conversation that we did yesterday. 
The question is about conversation. Uh -huh. yeah. Yesterday's conversation. Uh, yeah. Very good. Do you think Rodrigo could? Okay, so first we are answering the questions and then we're ordering numbering from one to eight, the stages of the product development, right? Ah, first discuss the answer to the question below. Uh, yeah. Ah, okay, sure. okay. Okay, good. Let me share this part. Okay. Do you think Rodrigo could develop the new course successfully by himself? Why or why, or why, or why not? Mm. Mm. Uh, we can read the, the conversation again and I no. yes. Maybe. Do you think Rodrigo could open the new course to second by himself? Yes, but without without help, maybe he that it's very tardado más tiempo. ¿Qué piensa Rodrigo de poder tener un corpus de Pimstemple Fork? Maybe we have to take a longer. Okay. Doesn't, he does an idea where to start. Where mm. to start? He does. He doesn't know where to start. Yeah, he doesn't know where to start. 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 Ah, okay. so number two. What is the step of the product development process? Rodrigo is struggling with. What is he struggling? Dealing with. Um, no existe una definición, oh. um, una, una traducción exacta al español de esa palabra, struggle, struggle, pero es como lidiar con algo. Mm. Cuando algo es muy difícil, es como la lucha diaria que tenés con algo. La lucha, la lucha, oh, prácticamente. Okay. Okay. Maybe the idea generation. What do you think? I can see. Um, Good idea. Um, what you... She says, I have never do, done anything like that. And Edgar replied, Idea generation. Um, related to the market, yeah, just write down idea related to the market. We want to offer our course. 
course, 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 course. That's good in class. Or the concept oh, development? Test no. in the business analysis. Which one? Uh, I finished. Development consent is testing Con business analysis. And then he said, he's not sure. He, he does an idea. He doesn't about have. The marker. He, doesn't, he, doesn't have an he doesn't have an idea. He, he doesn't have an idea about the marker. About the market, he, the market. Yeah, he, he doesn't know the market. The market. The market. There you go. He doesn't know the market. He doesn't know how uh, to deal with it. Okay. Remember, then you order mm -hmm. by yourself. Después organizan por sí mismos, del 1 al 8, el ejercicio 4, okay? Okay. Okay, good, good. No. Okay, Miguel, how, how are you doing? You're working with Sandra and Roberto? Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm feeling a little bad, teacher. Why? What's going on? They gave me the second dose of the vaccine. You got and the I second dose? Oh, my God. Was it AstraZeneca yes. or what? Moderna. Moderna. Moderna, ouch. Yeah, but I feel very fast. Oh my God. I, I have a fever. Fever? Fever, fever, yeah. Okay, will you continue on the class? Yeah, yeah, I try. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Uh, I don't know if Sandra and Roberto are working. They're working? Yes. Oh, okay. No. Do you mean working at their job, at your job guys, or here? <laughs> okay. Um, Perdón, Sandra, ¿está trabajando en su trabajo? Okay. Sí, 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 teacher. Ay, ok. Uh -huh. Ok, si gustan, eh, les voy a dividir para que estén con un grupo que esté interactuando, interactuando. para que ustedes puedan escuchar uh -huh. mejor, ok? Good. For me, concept development and testing. Three, four, test marketing or business analysis. Mm, I'm not sure. What do you think, Elvin? Sorry, sorry. Vale, volume. Okay, remember, uh, you should do this first by yourself. Yeah. yeah. And then discuss together. Are you just discussing together right now, or you already did it by yourself? We did it. We oh, didn't. okay. Okay. We didn't. We did it. No, we did oh, not. You, you did not. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So idea generation, idea screening, and then. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, so in this case, we I we have to stop screen sharing and do it by by one. Okay, Lofista. One by one. Okay. One yeah, that's one. that's a great idea. Okay. Bueno, ya terminé. No sé, no sé si ya quién más tiene. Lo paso. Ya los tengo. Okay. What is what is the first first step for you? Idea, idea, generation. 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 Idea generation. Idea generation. For me. Generation. For me too. Okay. This this second. Idea screening. Idea idea screening for me too. Uh -huh. Okay. Three. Your, your concept develop development mm -hmm. and testing for me the, the, the third step is business analysis mm -hmm. for me okay if we for is concept development and testing okay for me for me um, I, I don't know what yes. is the correct answer for that <laughs> okay and five pro development mm -hmm. For me, is uh, test marketing. La prueba del mercado. Okay. Uh, six, test marketing. Uh -huh. For me, for me, six is product development. Uh -huh. mm. Seven, Seven and commercialization. 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 En uh, A Lounge. Lounge. Ok. Son algunas diferimos. Yes. Aunque okay, tiene lógica. <laughs> en Chu. En Chu Analyze. Es Analyze. 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 Sí, pero no tan, no tan E, eh, sino que A. Ah. <laughs> analyze. Ana, ana, analyze. Analyze. Ah, analyze. Ah, analyze. Yeah. Analyze. analyze. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Now let's let's discuss a little bit. What do you remember is each concept? For example, what's the idea generation? What do you remember in your own words? We we get a, a brainstorm for a, from the the development team and some customers or another another person that are included in the. Okay. In the in the company, for example, mm, oh, the, ideas, the ideas, the ideas, the uh, ideas, God, no, ¿cómo sería? The the God ideas, las ideas obtenidas, ¿verdad? Yeah. The, the, the ideas obtenidas. The, oh, the the re, the ideas obtained. obtained. Ah, the ideas obtained. Uh, ideas obtained. Uh, in the in the in the camino on the way on the way uh, uh, is it's in, it is discarding or discarding discarded discarded uh huh discarded or discarded uh, when uh, after probe or or try that that idea that that's a uh, a bad idea because if it's bad for business or the idea don't don't have any don't does doesn't have any sense doesn't make any sense it doesn't make any sense okay is that um, is support is supporting the new opinion teacher a opinion um uh, supporting the the new the new advances for the product or the new launching. That is correct. Okay, what's the next one? Idea screening? Screening. Screening. Uh -huh. Is practicing the, the ideas, ideas, yes? is a 
It's a uh, explain and it, it, let's uh, let's replace is a uh, with it's about it's about it's about mm -hmm. okay. it's about explaining it's about talking planning planif planifying okay it's planifying. about planning i'm sorry no it's about planning it's about planning see it's um, uh, awesome it's it's about planning it's about considering it's about yeah you got it brainstorming okay. <laughs> research and research research too about market uh, I, I was saying in the group when when uh, you send that link about all the stages of of that that topic. Uh, idea screening is just just to predict the uh, the organization's ability to make um, a product or or write or writing. Okay, keep going, keep going. We're almost mm -hmm. done. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Okay, really quick. I guess you already discussed about what it, what was the idea generation, what was the idea screening, what was the business analysis, and so on, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, any questions? No questions at all. No, at the moment. Not at the moment. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's apply these concepts onto new ideas. Okay. Sorry, sorry teacher, I have a problem with my internet. I don't know what happened. But I it's okay. Elmi. okay. But I do uh, uh, the homework or the activity. Good, awesome. Okay, guys. So let's just get this clear and straighten up. The first stage of the product development is mm -hmm. idea generation. Good idea, gen idea generation. Very good. That's the very first stage. Okay. What is number two? Idea screening. Okay. That is correct. What's number three? Concept development and testing. Mm. Maybe. Hmm. Do we all agree? Business analysis. Business analysis, right? Hmm. We'll see that business analysis, and then no, actually no? concept. Concept okay. development and testing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. What's number four? Business, business analysis. analysis. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. What's number five? Product development. Product development. Hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Number six. Test Test marketing. Test marketing. Test. Yeah. Okay. Number seven. Long Commercialization. Long. Ah. No. Ah, no. Yeah. Long. No. Long. No. Seven. Commercialization. And no. eight is commercialization. Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now. Yes really quick in our own words what do we understand by idea generation hmm? 
What do we understand about mm. idea generation? I want you to start thinking that you have $25,000. You have $25,000 on your hands, okay? And you decide to become an entrepreneur. On what? What product? That's the next task that you have. You have to develop a product with your classmates in groups. Develop a product. So let's go with idea generation. Let's understand what is it? Get ideas. And Get ideas. Everything. Brainstorm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? To brainstorm ideas. Hey, what do you think about a pupuseria? Nah, there are too many pupuserias. Yeah, but not good ones. Mm, it's too expensive. Okay. What about pupusas? I mean, pizza. What about, what about homemade pizza? Homemade pizza? Yeah, there are no pizzerias here in Lourdes, right? No, oh, there are no pizzerias. I mean, homemade pizzerias, there are no pizzerias here. Okay. That's a great idea. Okay, number two, idea screening. So what do we do now? What do we do in this idea screening stage? Go back to the reading, remember. What do we do in the idea screening? Project. Project what? Remember, oh, select, is, select opinion, select, select, the idea. Yeah, select idea, select the idea. Yes. Okay. What else? Select uh, um, explain. Create your criteria. Your criteria about what? About the the needs. The needs. Yeah. What what do you? I think that goes on number three. This is more like studying. No, that's business analysis, right? No. <laughs> okay, idea screening, guys. Isn't this the point where you conduct a feasibility study? Remember what I told you, feasibility study? Is this, is this a good idea? I mean, let's look at the market. What's our niche of market? What niche of market we're taking? Okay, we're talking about Lourdes. I mean, it's big. Mm. There are no, we don't have competitors. Only Don Jesus that has the pizzas, but ugh, they're not good. Nobody likes Don Jesus pizzas. Oh yeah, so we don't have competition. Okay. Okay, and you, like have, and you have an oven in your house, a handcrafted oven, a handcrafted oven. Yes, I do have a handcrafted oven so we can use, okay. So we wouldn't spend money on a, on an oven. No. Okay. Good. And we have $25,000. Mm. Okay. You see, you're screening the idea. It's like, uh, it's like discard and compare idea. Yeah, correct. You have competitors. Is anybody else? Anybody else selling pizzas? Is anybody else selling our product locally? No. Okay, so good. And you go, you go, you move on. Okay, number three, you develop the concept. You know what? Let's do, let's make a pizza. Let's see how it goes, okay? Let's create one. Let's taste it. What ingredients? How much are the ingredients? How many pizzas can we produce? How do you do that, Elvin? How do you calculate? How do you calculate a process? You take a stopwatch. You take it. You take a stopwatch, and you start manufacturing one piece to see how long does it take. For you to create one product, okay. Yeah, the, yeah it depends on the, the, what kind of uh, the product. The, uh, for example, uh, 
one uh, one t-shirt, for example, that tie is is very long compared to uh, underwear. Compared to underwear, yeah. I mean, yeah. the bigger the piece, the bigger the sewing that you will do, right? Same thing. So, but you take time and that's important. So then you can, you have a parameter. You have a parameter, parameter. Yeah. You have a parameter on time, yeah. on time, operation, you know, cost, cost. How there many again. process? Uh-huh. How long will it take for each process? And then you can simply multiply it and, this, and decide, okay, so in one hour, we will have X amount of products. Okay. Yeah. Number, number four, business analysis. Is this feasible? Okay. If we make one pizza, what was the cost? Oh, the cost was $5 for the pizza. What? Okay. And we can sell it in $10. <gasps> okay. Yeah, that's double. So we get $5 and we are two. We divide it into two fifty dollars each. Is that okay? I don't know. Oh, well, it's a big pizza. So we can sell it in $12. I don't know. Let's offer it in 15 and then we can do promotions, you know, sell them in $12 and so on. Good idea. Okay. Business analysis. You study the market. You start testing. Number five, product development. You create samples. You go and give your neighbors to try your pizza. I'm just giving the pizza example, okay? Number six, test marketing. Oh, you start promoting, right? Promoting your product. You continue giving samples, okay. Finally, on the test marketing, you tell everybody, okay, on Monday 23rd, we have the launch of our product. We are opening a pizzeria. We're launching our business, okay? So you're invited to buy pizzas, <laughs> okay? There you go. And number eight, you continue distributing the pizzas. Hey, let's get a motorcycle with the $25,000. Let's invest in a motorcycle to deliver the pizzas in order this. Okay. And there you go. You are set. You have a distribution channel. You have a distribution channel. Okay. You have a, a WhatsApp to place the orders and so on. You got everything. Well, you can, yeah, you can promote yourself on social networks online. You know what I love? I think, I think Pizza Hut has the option. You can go on their website and create your pizza, right? You can do that by yourself. So do you think you can get, you can manage this? It's your job right now to create a whole new product. Okay, that's your mission right now. You have to think with your classmates about a whole new product. You have 20 minutes, 24 minutes to complete this task, create a brand new product. No se pueden repetir los productos, okay? Okay, so it has to be unique. Think about something new that nobody else has so far, okay? Questions? Okay. No. No questions. Okay. We are three groups. Let me recreate this. Okay. And this will be your group. Just three groups, guys. Let's go. Hello, good evening, everyone. Hello, guys. Oh, there is a big storm Hi, right now here. Rainstorms. Yeah, San <laughs> yep. Diego Beach. What kind of product? Uh, food, cloth. Um, 
Oh, let me see. Um, articles. We, ha we have to decide the, what, the, what kind of product, uh, food or uh, uh, toiletries. I don't know what kind of food. 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 <laughs> oh, food, food. Yes. Okay. It must come. Yeah. <laughs> For me, food. Typical food or what kind of food? What kind of food, right? Um, a, new, a new product. Yeah, it's a new product. Um, <laughs> let me see. Instantaneous soup. <laughs> or beverages. Beer. Last time I told uh, a, new, a new dish to the teacher. <laughs> a, a, a crazy idea. Um, well, he said it's unique. Pupa shell. It's... Pupa shell. <laughs> you... uh, it's... I dislike. <laughs> Do you drink? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know if, if, if I a good idea, but. Shell Pupa. Shell pupa, yeah. Sounds weird. Shell pupa, this. Shell pupa, this. What would happen with the dough? Remember, the pupusas are made with rice dough. So if you put shell, Inside, yeah. inside rice dough. Uh, will it work? Yeah, <laughs> it's too watery, isn't it? Too watery, mm. muy acuoso, too watery. I don't know. Well, chicharrón works, right? Yeah, even though it mm. is very, it's very greasy, but it works. I don't know. Let's give it a try. Yeah, that's a good idea. Keep going. Brainstorm the ideas. Right now you're on the idea generation stage. Okay. What another food or fish or another idea? What do you have? Combining with the green. So, so another idea, I think. So, drink, drink. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What? Beverages. So, so, beverage. So, yeah. Composed by what? Um. For example. Hello. Hello, teacher. Estoy solita. Roberto Where? no contesta. Where's yes. Alexander? No, solo Roberto me contesta. Ni Robert, nadie contesta. Uh-oh. This is group two. Wait a minute. Oh, there we are. Here comes Carolina. Uh, William, are you there? Okay, uh, here comes Carolina. Okay. Let's work with her. Okay, girls, so let's um, follow the steps of the idea generation and then the idea screening to come up with a product, okay? A whole brand new product, okay? Not pupusas, shell pupusas, okay? That's already taken by someone. Pizza burger. <laughs> Pizza burger? No, 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 no food. No food, okay, okay. It's a new product. <laughs> I'll be here. If you have any questions, I'll be here, okay? Okay, thank you, teacher. <laughs> oh, no food. <laughs> Ada? No, pupusas no, dijo el teacher. <laughs> 
no sé, mm -hmm. que, que, que piensa que nuevo producto. Let me think. Mm. It's, a, it's a new mask for pandemia. Helpful? <laughs> no. Sorry? No. Cell phone? No. Cell phone. But, uh, which, which, uh, how do you say? Innovador. Innovative. Uh, innovative. Innovative. Which elements will be innovated? And the cell phone. Mm. What's the problem? Or... Mm. or something like a necklace, maybe. Uh, and and they innovate it elements pueden ser piedras <laughs> okay, it could be stones there's a Stone. guy stones oh. like rolling oh. stones like the rolling stones mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> there's a guy in el puerto selling stones Painted stones. Yes. <laughs> and, and he so, sells. He sells the stones. It's crazy. One dollar for each stone. And a uh, beauty view, maybe. A beautiful view, yeah, on the stone. A painting. A painting, yeah. That's art. Well, Oh. Some people consider that art. Yes. It is. <laughs> mm. um, and how do you say, how do you call the unas cositas que ponen en el techo? Tejas, tejas. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> I oh. heard I heard you said in in, in el pecho, no, in el techo, okay? Teja. No. <laughs> like what? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I have seen those too. The tejas, they are roof tile, roof tiles. Roof tiles. Mm -hmm. Roof tiles. Roof tile. Mm -hmm. One. Roof tile, roof tiles. Oh, mm. tiles. But do you think, Ella? Can you no. paint it? <laughs> it's a new shoes, a new gym. Yo no sé, algo más, más útil o algo más competitivo, pienso yo. No sé. Ah! <laughs> bueno, no, es mi idea, pero está bien. Mm. Let me think. Mm -hmm. Está bien, sí, empecemos con eso, porque si no, no vamos a avanzar nada. <laughs> oh, o okay, qué otra cosa. <laughs> What else? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tenemos que amarlo, el producto. Yes, because uh, you may be, yeah. puede que continúen trabajando con este producto después. Ya. Yeah. Yo no me voy a ir. Um, uh, 
or any any juice with strong ingredients juice it's a new pizza I'm going to it's a new ingredient okay a new pizza with new ingredients it's a broccoli pizza <laughs> It's a pizza integral. Okay. Yes. It's an in integral pizza. Integral. A light, a light pizza. A light pizza. Okay. okay. Keep going. Think, 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 think. You need to move on. You need to move on after the idea screen. I mean, the idea generation. You need to move on to the idea screening, right? And so on. Keep going. Mm -hmm. yes. So we start with my and we got three, three products, three. right? We got we have two uh, testing. Of course, Jose say my product, my idea, my product was the worst idea I have. Just the black cow and the almond milk. In my case, the goat milk is out. Or we are going to develop the, the, the three or just two. What do you think? Van a ser los tres niñas o solamente dos? Me van a dejar afuera con mi goat milk. What is the product? Uh, smoothies. 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 Oh. Smoothies. smoothies. Okay. Smoothies. 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 Okay. Smoothies. Mm. Smoothies. Okay. Got, uh -huh. got milk, almond milk, and got, black cow. <laughs> got. Got milk. It's <laughs> In, in Spanish, they, 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 they no quieren desarrollar mi, mi smoothie de leche de cabra. Entonces, <laughs> um, uh, marketing idea is, you know, that you see the, the, the stickers of the card that say, God Jesus, God wins, in my case, God milk. They, they, That's they, true. Not like, <laughs> they don't want, but whatever. That's okay. okay. We're trying to the black cow. Do they want to help? Do they understand the concept? This is the we are in four right now. Okay. We are going to be, uh, we are going to the business analyze. Okay. We test. Two and of the three we, parts. Two? two of three parts, uh -huh. right? This, you need to the ask black the cow and the part. almond milk. Okay. Uh -huh. Which market is going to be uh, focused? Uh -huh. We are going to do a what's, focus group. What's our... Hmm. What market are we aiming to? What's our target market? What is our target market? Mm. Target market. People, uh, people who like uh, smoothie. Smoothies. A smoothie. Okay, so where could Young you find? Young people. Young people, okay. Young people, yeah. Okay. We cover with the Three products, three different ages, or the different, uh, how can I say that? Uh, for example, for young people, will will be as Mori uh, Sandra's idea, okay? Then uh, Carla, in your case, I'm I get uh, um, fitness people. Uh, yes, like uh, for, mm, I, I think that it's more for, for child, for, um, no, I don't no. know, like, uh, 
Almonds, almonds milk, it's no. Tough. That, for me, it sounds so, <laughs> sounds, um, I don't know, like, uh, I don't know, it's, it's uh, how can I say delicado? Mm. Delicado. It's, no, it's, fitness, it's fitness drink. people, because salmons is, is. Yeah. Almost milk. Eh, eh. Es como es bajo en grasa, como se dice. Ajá. For fitness. Ajá. Yeah, Light. Light. La... You, can, you can put it at the end of the name. Almond milk. Light. Ajá, it's light. No. no. But that's a bad marketing idea. If you say that Why? something, if you say that something is light, you may have failure, because historically, all products that say light don't like to people. Look at the Coca Cola light. <laughs> Even yeah. the presentation, the presentation was silver with red letters, and then Coca Cola brought. Coca-Cola Zero. Same flavor, the same taste. Different name. Different name, no sugar. Okay. The same idea. Yeah, yeah, because the Coca-Cola Light tasted like Pepsi, right? Nobody liked it. I prefer, I prefer <laughs> Pepsi. Okay, no, <laughs> but yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, keep going, guys. You're getting good ideas. So, what stage are you on right now? Um, number four. Okay. We're Business to... analysis. Business analysis. Okay. Weather with the the Come on, you're the concept. What business case needs to the put together the process provided in the code. Mm -hmm. This should improve the detailed marketing strategy. Highlight, highlighting target market. Oh. Business analysis. Mm. Okay. You are afraid. Mm. It's difficult. <laughs> you feel it's like difficult. the teacher is looking at you and feel like man, man, my guess. Come on, guys. <laughs> we're almost done. Before we're just you come, before you come to the, the, the group they were speaking. Oh, have an idea. Hey, no, there is no other one. No, they, we could be, wow, that's amazing. But when you come to the, to the group. Everything shy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're almost done, actually. Oh, we, we, you will help us. Um, in the business analysis, analysis. Analysis, analysis. Analysis. I hate that word. Uh, how can we, analysis. how can uh, understand that topic? The business analysis? So, Yes. Think, think about your business. In your own words. How can I? Pensé en tu negocio. En el beneficio de tu negocio principalmente. Va a ser um, factible producir este producto, valga la redundancia. Va a ser, tener la capacidad para hacerlo. ¿Cuántas piezas vas a estar generando por minuto o por hora? Ok. En base a eso, ¿cuál será tu demanda? Una figura en base a la comparación con otro producto que es en el mercado. O sea, todo eso lo consideras. Todo lo que afecta a tu negocio en relación al producto que vas a lanzar, lo que implica in la inversión en un nuevo producto. Is related to the cost. Es relacionado a tu negocio principalmente. El beneficio propio. That's it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Give me a okay. second. Give me a minute. I got it. <laughs> Uh -huh. mm. I, I see future in my gut milk, but 
whatever. You don't want. I think it's good. Almost meal. Yeah. There is not in the market. On the old. So on the... I think it's it's a good idea. If you ask so, so your grandfathers, you say, "Hey, you know the the god milk." <laughs> yes, it's a powerful good yeah. beverage. <laughs> yeah, we can do it. <laughs> yeah. Entonces, va que digamos que está bien y vamos con todo. Number five, product development. If the new product is approved, it will be passed to the technical and marketing development stage. This is when a prototype or a limited production model will be created. This means you can investigate exact design and specification and any manufacturing methods, but also give something tangible for consumer testing for feedback. La única palabra que le escuché pronunciar fue prototype. Y ahí todo bien. Oh my ah, god. Good. Prototype. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good job. Okay, ready? No teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, keep going, keep going. En lo que apenas estamos es algo que uno mismo programa, pues. Pero ahí vean yo. Ahí uh -huh. si quieren podemos hablar de hacer eso. Mm, for me, smart for me, okay. budget. ¿Cómo? Smart budget. Sí, podría ser. A ver, ¿sí el nombre es el que tendríamos que Porque es un presupuesto prácticamente que te va a hacer. Eh, te lleva el control de tu gasto, pío. Eso es todo. Puedes, cualquier ticket tendría que tener habilidad de escanear. Y. Pero que si te ayudas a hacer tu, tu presupuesto sería mucho mejor. No, claro, o sea, al o final el, vos podés como poner un límite que querés y que te tire alarma cuando ya te pasaste ese límite en tus compras o, se, o te tira una notificación y te aparezca en verde cuando está todavía a, abajo de tu límite. Si, bueno, cosas así. Tal, o sea, hay tal, bastante cosas. Así como Bill, Bill Control. Bill Control, puede ser. Yeah. Bill Control, ¿no? BC. BC. BM. Bill Management. Bill Management. Bill Management. Pero más cercano a nuestro. Is that a, ¿Va a ser una app o un software? Es una app que, ah, bueno, va a ser una no, app que, que va a tomar la foto de cualquier recibo que tenga y lo que va a hacer que hay, hay personas que registran sus gastos que él solo va a tomar el listado de qué se compró, qué precio y en base a, a aprendizaje va a poder decirle en qué categoría entra de lo que ha comprado para llevar el control de sus gastos y en qué lo ha gastado, en comida, en ropa, en escolaridad, en salud. ¿Y si no me dan recibo? No puede ingresar manualmente, pero la idea... Bueno, yo, yo lo hablo en base a mi necesidad. A mí me, yo tengo una aplicación que yo hago eso con esa aplicación, pero la he comprado. Pero no tiene la habilidad de... A mí me da pereza estar metiendo los registros uno por uno cuando puedo Excel? tomar una foto. Lo que y él solo puede Excel. hacerlo. Lo que tiene Google ahora y iPhone acaba de incluir en el último teléfono. Yeah. Ah, pero de que tengamos un iPhone. No, no, no. O sea, es la nueva tecnología que están... Eh, o sea, vaya, el traductor de Google lo tiene. Por ejemplo, hay una camarita en el traductor de Google. Tú puedes tomar una foto o más bien escanear un documento que es en mm -hmm. inglés y ya te lo traduce. Sí, lo traduce. Ajá, ajá. Mm -hmm. Ok, text recognition. Text sí, recognition. Pero, sí, good. pero la, la, la idea es de que yo vaya súper tome la foto y me salga ya lo que capturó y me diga si quiere guardarlo todo, si uno quiere guardar algo en tu gasto, solo lo quitas y le da a guardar y ya, no tengo que ir uno por uno poniendo precio, categoría, gasto. Awesome. Great idea. Tendría que ir un, 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 un programa 
pero bien maníaco detrás de todo eso. Sí, okay. es que la aplicación es solo es el feedback. O sea, cuando haces una aplicación así, tienes que tener un sistema para administrar la aplicación. Pues ahí sí. atrás. Y poder ver tanto, en todos lados lo que necesites ver y en una base de datos. Y toda la aplicación. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, are we still on the idea screening, idea generation or? Idea generation. Idea generation. Oh my God. Okay, what's the struggle? <laughs> we were struggling with idea yeah. generation. Okay. Uh, but but I, I, I found a, our idea. Yeah, that's we, a good we, idea. We had, Actually, your idea is was awesome. Hard. That's a we great idea. That's a great idea. You should work on it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. okay let me check one more time with Ada and Carolina because they are alone. Okay. 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 Bien, pudieron crear un yes. grupo. Okay. Yes, teacher. Pizza light. <laughs> light pizza. Light pizza. Okay. What are que the ingredients? I'm, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. What are the ingredients? Tengo miedo. La masa, brócoli. La masa preparada con brócoli. The dough. The Ma dough is prepared no. with broccoli. Really? Masa con broccoli. D O no. G H. G H. Uh -huh. Dough. Ah, okay, okay. The dough. The dough, dough, is, pre dough, dough is prepared with. Oh, oh my God! It's nine oh seven. Let's go back. Okay. We'll okay. continue. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. What happened? You're staying with me to 10 minutes. Okay. Tonight. Bien, ok, espero que hayan tenido buena participación. Había un grupo que estaba solo dos personas, lo siento mucho, hay pocos el día de hoy. Y pues sabemos, hay algunos compañeros que están teniendo problemas técnicos, está lloviendo en todos lados. So it's ok. Uh, bien, espero que se hayan divertido y hayan podido aprender más sobre esto que hayan tenido una idea fenomenal, porque la vamos a seguir ocupando en todo el módulo para desarrollar un producto. Y aún en el intermedio 3, vamos a hacer otro, um, vamos a aprender sobre the product life cycle, el ciclo de vida del producto, que es como una continuación de esto. Ahorita va viendo the product development, es de que se concibe el bebé, no, antes, desde que se planifica el bebé, se concibe, se produce y se lanza al mercado. Se crea the new corporation. <laughs> yes, that's right. Yes. That's right. Okay. Hey, let me do the attendance again. I'm sorry. It's late. Um, Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Grisuela. Present. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespín. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martínez. Present. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Present. Thank you. Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. Present, teacher. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Estaba por ahí Roberto. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Excelente. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca, Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde, que se tuvo que desconectar porque estaba enfermo, Reina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Miguel tuvo su segunda dosis de AstraZeneca, no, no me acuerdo cómo es que Moderna. se llama. Moderna. Moderna. Sí. Yes. Es peor, Ada. La Moderna, Ay, la moderna o la... What? Moderna. La Moderna es peor que la AstraZeneca. Sí. For me, it's better. What, what's better? Is the best? For 
the long time, the long time of. Mm, okay. Um, okay. Ready? So I need you to pay attention. ¿Y saben qué? Voy a hacer algo que yo suelo hacer, pero como ustedes me he detenido un poco, sin embargo, hoy sí lo voy a hacer. Porque creo que es necesario. No sé si ya vieron este tema. O si lo vieron a medias. O si faltó un poco de clarificación. Let me just double check. Present perfect. Yeah. Ok, guys. Vamos a revisar si no, si ya lo vieron. O vamos a ver por primera vez un tema bien bonito que es... The present perfect. Okay. So. Okay. Todo bien con la imagen. Si ¿Sí, miran. Yeah. Sí. Okay. Good. Let's start. Use white. Okay. So the present perfect. Help me. Uh, Juan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Read, please. Used to describe an, an action that has recently finished or previous experience that may affect the present. Come on, Juan. <laughs> you can do it better. Do it again. Use. Okay, okay. Used to, to describe an action that has recently finished or previous experience that may affect the present. Almost, okay. The present. Action, and, okay. Used to describe an action that has recently, repeat, recently. Recently. Finished. Recently. Finished. finished. Listen, finished. Finished. Do it with me. Finish. Finished. 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 There you go. Very good. Finished. Or previous experiences. Experiences. It's in, it's in plural. That may may affect the present. Como así. Mm -hmm. That... Okay. Eh, aquí es donde viene lo um, tergiversado, ¿no? Tú ocupas eso todo el tiempo. Ya has viajado a otro país. Ya has hablado inglés muchas veces. Ya has conocido a otras personas. Ya. Ha, da, ha operado muchas personas. Ha, da, ha trabajado muchas horas. Ha trabajado. Ha hablado. Ha viajado. Ha nadado. Ha corrido. Ya. Tercera forma del verbo conjugado. Y eso es el presente perfecto. Acciones que acaban de ocurrir. O experiencias pasadas. Que aún afectan al presente. Como así. Yo he trabajado en inglés corporativo por, por cinco años. Yo he trabajado en inglés corporativo por cinco años. Está afectando el presente porque aún estoy trabajando con ellos. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. Good. Examples. Ready? I've already mm -hmm. told you. I've already told you. I've already told you. You've worked here for a long time. You've worked here for a long time. You've worked here for a long time. They've just stopped the new product line. They've just stopped the new product line. She hasn't tried it yet. She hasn't tried it yet. We still haven't sold a single unit. We still haven't sold a single unit. Have you seen the competitor's new product? Have you seen the competitor's new product? Haven't they just come out of the meeting? Haven't they just come out of the meeting? Teacher, pero el pasado participio de come que no es came. No, come, cake. Come, came, come. Teacher, ¿y puedo hacer preguntas en negativo? Claro que sí. Uh -huh. mm, I have another I doubt. Yeah. Um, why, why to, to, um, 
writing words in, in past, for example, stop. Oh. Why we don't say stop help? Oh, you mean the pronunciation? Pronunciation. Yeah, the E-E-D. Oh, e -E -D endings. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, see, hay tres sonidos para los verbos en su forma base en el pasado. Eh, le voy a enviar todo esto, eh. Ahorita, de hecho, le voy a tomar un screenshot a esto y se lo voy a enviar. Necesito que pongan mucha atención. Porfis, porfis, pongan mucha atención. Me pregunta Juan, the e -D endings. Okay, los sonidos finales es de, para los verbos regulares, debido a que el pasado participe de un verbo regular, sí. es un mismo pasado, es el mismo pasado, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Ok, entonces hay tres sonidos. El primer sonido es... T, t, y se genera cuando no hay una vibración en tu boca. Voiceless. Es voiceless, ajá. Lo estoy diciendo en español porque necesito que uh, aterricemos esta área, esta área de oportunidad que todos tenemos, ¿ok? A todos nos pasa. Hay que corregirlo de un solo. Entonces, no hay vibración en tu aparato, ¿ok? Entonces, por ejemplo, si dices mis, extrañar, mis, ¿ok? No hay sonido, ¿verdad? Um, si digo fix, tampoco. Kiss, tampoco. Todos esos son verbos regulares. ¿eh? Entonces, ¿qué hago? Agrego ed al final. Y ahora puedo decir fixed. Fixed. Por eso, si tu profesor desde, un, desde el básico te estuvo diciendo, haciendo énfasis en el silabeado y que pronunciara mm -hmm. bien el sonido final de las palabras, de los verbos, el sonido final de los verbos en su forma base, tú ya aprendiste a decir fix, miss, kiss. ¿Ok? Si te aprendiste eso, es... ahora vas a entender que al agregarle de eso, lo vas a tener que agregar el sonido. Se hace Por con ejemplo, ahí está, la, ahí está la otra palabra. Your work. Ajá. Otra. Work. Thank you. Ayúdenme. Very good. Work. Y entendiste que aquí se genera la K. Y que ahora solo vas a agregar el sonido. So, work. Work. Miss. Perdón, missed, kissed, fixed. ¿Ves? Ahí está la primera regla. La segunda regla es lo opuesto. Hay vibración en tu, en tu boca. ¿Cómo sabes si hay vibración? Te pones las manos así en la garganta. Y puedes decir, por ejemplo, grab. ¿Cómo sabes que hay vibración? Sostén el sonido final del verbo en su forma base. Grab. Ok. Ahora puedo decir grabbed. Grabbed. Mm -hmm. Ok. Any other? Oh, el más común. Save. Oh. Hasta te van a picar los labios si decís save. Aprendiste en el básico que los verbos terminados en V tienen ese efecto. Te vibra el labio inferior y medio te lo mordes un poquito. Save. Ahora vas a agregar el sonido. Con la punta de la lengua entre los dientes y decir la D, pero son, no sonora. Saved. ¿Oí? Saved. Forma base, forma base, saved. ¿Ok? Pasado, saved. Saved. Grab. Grab. Agarrar, grab. Grabbed. Grabbed. Love, loved, loved. ¿Ok? Ah, sí, hay muchos que tienen vibración. Y la tercera regla, Juan, si el verbo en su forma base ya de por sí termina en los sonidos t, o d, d, es decir, los otros dos, ¿verdad? T, o d, entonces voy a pronunciarlo como id, id. Por ejemplo, act, acted. Okay. Ajá. Ahí está. Ajá. Act, acted. Want, wanted. Want. Ahora bien, hay, hay una excepción más, pero lo dejamos para luego, ¿ok? Need, <risa> very good. Need, needed. Need. Y esta es la excepción, ¿oí, Juan? Si el verbo termina 
en vocal consonante, como lo que acaba de decir Alexander, need. Entonces yo puedo decir needed, needed. Mm -hmm. Respetando mm -hmm. aquella regla de que si la T o la D está entre dos vocales, suena a R. Needed, mm -hmm. needed, wanted, wanted. I wanted to tell you, I wanted, I wanted to tell you, I needed to tell you. Y ahí vas. Ok. okay. okay. Eso fue de forma rápida. Puedes volver al video y repasamos eso de nuevo. Ok. Ok. So, examples. Let's go with the. Let's walk the talk. I'm sorry. Let's walk the talk. Let's go with the positive structure. Ahora, quiero que. Mind this, como dijo Denzel Washington. Mind this. Las terceras personas. Okay. First and second persons. You say have. ¿Cuál es el auxiliar de este tiempo? Have. Her. Has. Have. have. Oh, has. Uh, Teacher, has. pero have, ¿qué no quiere decir? ¿Qué quiere decir have? Tener. 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 Solo tener. A ver. Acabo de acordar del policía, del títere de, de TikTok. Mm. Right? Have. A ver. Correcto. A ver. Entonces, vas a ocupar en el presente perfecto el have como a ver. Ok. First and second persons. Tell me, what are the first and second persons? I, you. I, you. We, they. They. Okay, what, yeah, that's right. I do with a. That's it. I will you do. I do with a have. I do with a have. Third persons. Third person singular. He, she, it. He, she, it. He, she, it. Very good. He, she, it. So, I do with a have. He, she, it has. That's it. So, respeta eso, nada más. O sea, aplicas la regla que ya que viste en el presente simple, ¿no? Solo que este es presente. Perfecto. Ok. So good. Look at the structure. First, you need a subject. Uh -huh, keep going. Uh, the, aux the auxiliary. Auxiliary have, has, have or, in this case. Has, mm -hmm. Plus. 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 Participle. There. There. Plus. plus complement. Okay, let's play. Plus. Let's play a game really quick. Everybody, pay attention. I say the verb in present. You say it in past participle. So if I say write, wrote, write, written, 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 written. Okay, write, write, written, 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 written. Mm. <laughs> double check, double check, Alex. Okay. Mm. Right road, written. Mm. Right road, right. Mm. Right road, road. Think. Okay, get. Got. Uh, getting. Gotten. Got or gotten. Gotten. British. British. Gotten. American. Got. Got. Okay. Run. 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 Uh -huh. <laughs> run, run, run. Very good. Mm -hmm. Speak. Spoken. 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 Ah, good. Take a shower. Taking a shower. Ah, <laughs> good. <laughs> Man, okay. Sleep. Slept. 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 Sleep. Slept. 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 Okay, very good. Uh, oh, help me. Come. 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 Ah, come. Uh, Come, 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 Lift, lift, lifted, lifted. One lifted. lifted. You see? Ah, the yeah. Third, the third in the ending, lifted. Okay. Lifted. Light. 
Lit. 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 Light. Lit. Lit. Lighten. Lighten. Lighten up. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Drink. Drunk. 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 Exactly. That's that's perfect. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Questions. Question. Do <laughs> oh, you have any <laughs> questions? Come on. Give me a second. Give me a minute. One second. Okay. So that's the rule. Okay. Let's practice. Okay. Uh, da -da, da -da -da. How do we do this? Okay, Juan, select someone or help me make a sentence. Select one of the subjects in the list and make a sentence. It can be I, you, he, she, we, you, they, whatever you want. Um, the second, you. You, okay. Make it up. Mm -hmm. Follow the formula. Follow the formula. I'm thinking, um, for example. You, you have to do the task. Mm. You have to. You have. Don't. You have done. Don't. You have to don't. Don't. Yeah. Do, did, done. You've done the task. Yeah, Very good. Done the task. Okay. So, puedes ocupar o no la contracción en este caso. Recuerden que la forma de contractuar en este tiempo es apóstrofe VE. Okay. Es suena más, I don't know, no. natural. You've done. And then you say, you've done. You've done. You've done the task. Yeah. Hey, watch out. Mind this. No two verbs. You cannot repeat the verb. Who is next, one? Who is next? Um, would you like a number or, or name? Name. Just name one of your classmates. Okay. I'm Caroline. Caroline. Coraline. I love that movie, Caroline. Uh huh, Caroline. With he. He, okay. Um. He have. Uh, he have been. Mm -hmm. To. Italy? No. Oh. Okay. What do you think, guys? Pass. 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 And in Italy. Oh, yes. Good. He has been to Italy. <laughs> He's been to Italy. He's been to Italy. Ojo, puedo contactar con apóstrofe S en este tiempo. Pues se sobreentiende que lo que continúa es un verbo en pasado participio. Por ende, no puedo confundirme pensando que eso es el verbo to be, ¿ok? ¿Estamos claros en eso? Yeah. Okay, so he's been to Italy. Ok, who is next, Caroline? Mm, Perdón, no sé quién están cayendo tantos mensajes de la tóxica, pero please mute yourself. I'm sorry, it's me. Oh my God. Okay. Come on, guys. Okay, who, who is next, am, Carolina? Perdón, de nuevo. ¿Y cómo supo? ¿Cómo lo supo? Elvin. Elvin, okay. Ajá. Okay. Uh -huh. With... Would they? 
They, okay. Okay. Uh, they have learned, learned English. Oh. Huh. They have learned English. English. Yeah. Excellent. They've learned English. Listen, they have learned English. They've learned English. What sounds better? Dave, right? They've learned English. Very good. They've learned. They've learned. They've learned English. Okay. Wonderful. Who's next, Elvin? Um, Tim. Fernando. Fernando. Okay. With she. She or she? She. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. She has. Uh, she has uh, eating eating pizza here. Okay, she has eating pizza here. She has eating pizza here. Eating. <laughs> Come oh, yeah. on, tell me, tell me. <laughs> uh huh. Eating. Yeah, she has eating pizza here. Is that right? Yeah, eating or eating. Both. Is this right? No, I mean the pronunciation. Eating or eating. 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 Both. Eating. Okay. Eating. 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 Okay. Who's next, Fernando? Uh, Johnny. Okay, Johnny. We had understood the present perfect. With, okay, we have understood. Oh, come on. I'm just gonna say PP, okay, the present perfect. We've understood the present perfect, okay. Ya no voy a preguntar quién sigue, okay, vamos a hacer esto más dinámico. Siempre al final díganme fulana o fulano, ¿ok? Johnny. Sandra. Sandra, ok. Ok. We have dropped the black car. Uh, we is taken. No, sorry, sorry. You have. Oh. Ah. Ok. This is you de ustedes, vea. Yes. Dije, vea. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. <laughs> You've drove the black car. Hmm. What do you think, guys? Driven. 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 Hmm. Amazing okay. movie. Amazing movie with uh, Sandra Bullock and me. Sandra Bullock and me. Ken Reeves. <laughs> I have never seen. You've never seen Driven? Okay. No. Or Speed Limit. What was the name of the movie? Speed Limit, I believe. Speed Limit, right? Hmm. Okay. Okay. Sandra? Alan. Alan. Uh, I traveled to my work. I travel to uh, my work for a long time. Traveled. I've traveled to work for a long time. No es tuyo, uh, no es tuyo, no es tuyo el trabajo. No le vamos a poner un adjetivo. Si es tuyo, eh, el trabajo sería my job. Esa es una cosa que les quería decir hace ratos. I've traveled to work for a long time. Well, I've inspected the package for a while. What? I, I be expecting, I be, uh, how can I say I'll be expecting the, no, it's a uh, future, right? When I use will. See, sí, I occupy as well, but I've been expecting this package 
for a long time. He estado esperando este paquete por mucho tiempo. I have been. I have been expecting. Pero eso sería presente perfecto continuo. Lo veremos, lo veremos luego. Ok, I've traveled to work for a long time. Aquí estás hablando de experiencias pasadas. I've traveled to work for a long time. Ok, and last, Alan. Uh, Carla. Carla. Janet. Uh -huh. It. Uh, it, it fast and furious, fast and furious, fast and furious. It has, it has. Um, she didn't get the reference. She didn't get the reference. <laughs> everybody, everybody. It's been a long day without you, uh, my yeah. friend. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no lo pude evitar. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh -huh. Carla, go ahead. Uh, it, it, it has... Oh, pero no podemos repetir verbo, ¿verdad? Ya está bien. Teacher just told you. You have told you. <laughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. It's um, arrived. I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's arrived. It has... It's arrived... Mm. It's a ride. Uh, broken. Yes. <laughs> Got it. Okay. It's a ride broken. It's a ride broken. It has arrived broken. My package has arrived broken. My package okay. arrived broken. Package arrived broken. Ok, you got it. Los británicos hacen mucho esto de agregar la, um, la contracción aún con nombres propios. My package arrived broken. Has arrived broken. I'm sending you that picture right now. Ok, so that's the positive. Do you have any questions? We, we we can use have like auxiliary and like a verb in the same sentence. Oh, has, have. yes, you got it. But remember, the second one must be in past participle. I have had a great time with you guys. I have had a great time with you. Have, had, had. You got it. That's a good question. Okay. So let's move it. It's on your WhatsApp. Let's go with negative. And as every grammatical rule, the auxiliary takes the negative and you say haven't or hasn't. So and you continue respecting the have and has, okay? Haven't, hasn't. Okay. Let's go for it. Remember, not repeating verbs. Okay, who is missing? Uh, who was last? Carla, select someone else that hasn't spoken. Select someone else that hasn't spoken. It's negative. Um, uh, Ada? <laughs> she hasn't a uh, room. Um, every day in the morning. No ha corrido todos los días en la mañana. Ella no, Ella no, corre. no ha corrido. Uh -huh. Ojo, eh, hay que aterrizar eso primero. Todos. Y eso me faltó, las disculpas. Algo que siempre suelo hacer. Y dije que lo iba a hacer y nadie me dijo que era lo que iba a hacer. Dicha, ya no lo hizo. ¿Qué le pasa? Ok. Ubiquémonos en el idioma español en qué es lo que estamos ocupando. Bueno, sí, más o menos lo mencioné. Ok. Ella no ha corrido. 
hablo de una experiencia pasada que aún afecta el presente. Si yo digo, ella no ha corrido todos los días, es decir, todos los días que ha estado acá. Sí, ok. She hasn't run every day. Pero aquí sería any day, right? She hasn't run any, any day. day. Ajá. Run. Any day. Yet. Mm, aún. Mm, pero si me quiero referir al tiempo que lleva conmigo desde que vino a visitarme. She hasn't Jeez. run any day. Since she was here. Yeah. Esa es otra cosa. Vamos a hablar de um, adverbios de tiempo. Right. Right? Since, since and for. Uh -huh. She hasn't run any day. Ok, Ada. Ella no ha corrido ningún día. Hmm. Ok. Um, Ada, we got it. Sí, lo, sí, lo ya, o sí, ya, creo, ¿no? Um, who's next, Ada? Everybody spoke already, so you can choose anybody. Mm. He hasn't traveled abroad. Okay, good. He hasn't traveled abroad. Good. Hey, we just traveled before. Anyways, uh huh. I, I, I haven't finished the platform. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's right. I haven't finished the platform. Okay. I haven't finished the platform. Who's next? Juan. No, okay, anybody, Alan, someone, one more example. We haven't played with that thing before. We haven't played with that thing. Wait, I can barely hear you. You haven't played with that thing. With that soccer thing. Team. With that soccer team. Like that? We haven't, we haven't played with that soccer team. Eso no lo estoy entendiendo. We haven't played with that soccer team. Oh, soccer team. Soccer. We haven't played with that soccer team. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think you got it. Questions? Hasn't, haven't, have not, has not. Okay. Um, if I tell, I'll, if a lady tells me, if a lady tells me, hey, do I know you? My response is always the same. I'm really sorry. You haven't had the pleasure yet. <laughs> Perdón. Good one. Perdón, ¿lo conozco? No, no, no ha tenido usted el placer. Aún. <laughs> so like, what? <laughs> right? You haven't had the pleasure yet. Sounds good, right? Lo veo, una, lo veo en una película. No, lo, creo, de hecho fue en the, the Big Bang Theory. You haven't had oh. the pleasure yet. <laughs> okay, Sheldon. Sheldon, of course. You haven't had the pleasure yet. Okay. Questions. Esta es la respuesta de Alvin. Haven't had. Okay. No questions. Good. Siempre, siempre me confunde con Elvin. <laughs> ¿Qué dije? For sure. No dijo de que, de que la pregunta de Elvin y yo había preguntado eso. Wait, William? 
No, Fernando. Oh my God, Fernando, es que no lo, lo muevo. Okay, good. Let me send this picture right, really quick for you. And then we go with the questions, the question form. Estamos entendiendo. Hay alguna pregunta, duda, inquietud? No, everything is clear. All clear. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And last topic of this grammar sentence, this grammar tense, um, will be the question form, which is very easy as well. ¿Qué será lo que varía entonces? ¿Qué, alguien que me vislumbre, que, que adivine cómo será que varía esa, esa fórmula entre el positivo y el negativo? ¿Cómo va a pasar a pregunta? El have y el have va primero antes del sujeto. Got it, Juan. Good job. Sí, tal cual lo dijo Juan. Ahora tenés have o has. Luego el subject, luego el past participle. Ojo con eso. Positivo, negativo y pregunta siempre ve el past participle del verbo. Número dos, el artículo, perdón, el auxiliar siempre va presente en positivo, negativo, pregunta, pregunta abierta. Ok, so just shoot me the questions. Like the sound. Have you ever seen the rain? I want to know. Have you ever seen the rain? Yep. That's right. Credence. Have you ever seen the rain? Ahora, en ese caso, aplicamos un adverbio, ¿no? Ever. Yeah. Ever solo se puede ocupar en preguntas. Hmm. Mm, the most Uy. of the time. Most of the time, yes. In questions, I've never, I've ever, I haven't ever. Yeah, just in questions. Yeah. Solo en preguntas. Porque al ocupar never, es ese negativo la, la afirmación. Okay, good. Uh -huh. Examples. Uh have you loved someone? Really, really, really have loved a woman. Yep. Have you ever really, really, really loved a woman? Yep. Have you ever loved someone? Loved someone. Okay. Have you loved someone? Have you been loved by somebody? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> hey, no toquemos el amor. Let's change the topic. Okay. Another bird. <laughs> Has he watched the movie? Has he watched the movie? Correct. Has she watched the movie? Has he watched the movie? Adita? They have visited. Mm, question. Visit. Question. No. Had. Have. Visit the parents. Sigamos una fórmula. Have they visit visited visited the park? The, the park. Have they visited the park? Have they visited the park? Correct. You got it. Okay. Someone else. Johnny. Carolina, has, has it been has it been called? Has it been called Rick? lately? Oh yeah. <laughs> has it been called it lately? Ha estado helado últimamente. Has it been estado estado edo ido? Ese es el tiempo de eso, eh, del ado edo ido. Okay. Y hablando de eso, a ver, les doy un ejemplo. Uh, ayúdenme con jugarlo. ¿Escribía? ¿En pasado? En wow. español. ¿Escribía? Ah. Escribió. Escribí, escribió. Ajá. ¿Pasado sí. participio sería? Escrito. Escribiendo. Alguien iba a decir escribido, ¿verdad? Escrito, escrito. 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 Ah, es... Escribido. Uh -huh. Escrito. 
créanlo o no, su teacher viene de Santa Ana y cuando vino a Salvador a sus 16 años, venía diciendo, escribido, las una. Y se me corrigió puro chichón de mi prima. La una. Y yo, ay, sorry. Teacher, pero escribido ya, ya está en la Real Academia Española. Nah, por favor, no. <risa> la tercera vez que escuchas, no me lo voy a creer. La no, rae. No, no, no. no. Escribido, no puede ser. No. Escrito, escrito. Suena mejor. Ok. O imprimido, es lo mismo, impreso, imprimido. No. Yeah. <risa> oh my God, no. Ok, escrito. Ok, good guys. Creo que eso está claro, ¿no? El auxiliar, el sujeto, el pasado participio del verbo y su complemento. De manera general, aunque no está acá en el manual, pero um, ¿cómo haces para hablar de una pregunta WH? Agregar la WH uh, antes de... Correct. Before. Before. At the beginning. That's right. Ok. What have you done to learn English? What have you done to learn English? Oh, I've been to classes. Ok. I've been to English classes. Bien. Questions. 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 Questions or question in general. Wait, that's Roberto. <laughs> Turn on your camera, Roberto. I've never seen your face. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? Okay. I'm sorry, Roberto. Repeat. Can I hear you? Oh. <laughs> what did he say? I... I... Roberto, no te escuchamos, perdón. ¿Podrías repetir? Didn't hear it. Ok. Questions, questions. Hello. One, two, one, two. <laughs> Chicos, quiero estar seguro de que quedó claro esto de la gramática del presente perfecto. Alguien tiene una pregunta. Mm. For example, teacher, where have where have you been of my life? <laughs> it is not. Where have you been of my life? <laughs> Yo cuando probé un cappuccino por primera vez. Uh -huh. Y lo probé con el removedor, ¿sabes? Mira qué tan ignorante era que venía de Tejayo, de Santa Ana, ¿no? Eh, no se me olvida. Eh, no se me olvida, ¿verdad? Eh, porque toda la gente se rió. Estaba en el Mr. Donut de, de, de Metro cuando estaba arribita, en la primera etapa, digamos, ahí por el reloj de entrada. Compré el capuchino porque ten, había visto eso tanto en Friends que llego, meto el removedor en el, en el café caliente, en el capuchino y, y yo, hoy oh, sí me va a dar gusto. Eh. Me pegué una quemada, hermano. Que, que se me salieron las lágrimas. Y, yo, ¡Ay! y todos me volvieron a ver en el café. Y lo peor es que dije. Pensé que era una pajilla y todo. Y yo, ups. De plano Pero, sentí que estaba en una serie. De, de, de que la gente se ríe. Anyways, son cosas que te pasan en la vida. Ajá. Very good. Experiences. Johnny, ajá. Negative. Um, interrogative, but uh, negative. Oh, can you make a negative question? Haven't you? Yeah, question. Haven't I told you? Um, haven't I told you? Yeah. Siempre respetas lo mismo. Haven't they just? Pass. Haven't they heard? Haven't you heard the news? Question pass. Haven't you had? Haven't and hasn't. Lo mismo. Huh? Hasn't she? Hasn't she learned English? No ha aprendido inglés. Hasn't she? Hasn't she learned English? Hasn't she learned English? Hasn't she learned English? Son de trabajo lengua. Mm -hmm. Has, hasn't he eaten? Hasn't he eaten? Totally. Okay. Very good. Haven't you traveled abroad before? 
Haven't you traveled Hasn't... before? Haven't, haven't you traveled abroad before? Alex? He done it. Oh, again, again, again. Have you done it? Hasn't he did it? Ah, has... Hasn't he done it? Done it. Done it. Hasn't he done the homework? No ha hecho su tarea. No ha hecho su tarea. Ojo con lo que digo, eh. No ha. Así estoy empezando la pregunta. Y sí, es lo mismo con el español. O sea, hombre, que esto es igual que en el español de España, eh. Que no has hecho tu tarea, tío. Así. No has hecho tu tarea. No te ha llamado tu madre. Hasn't your mother called you? Lo que pasa es que no ocupamos esto los salvadoreños, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Todo lo decimos en pasado. Me hablaste, no le, vos. me hablaste, no le, vos. No le de... Ajá. ¿Me has hablado? No, decimos, me hablaste. Ah, joder. No, 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 tampoco. Ok. Good. So let's go. Los españoles son bien especiales en ese sentido. Pero bueno, a ver. Ok, guys. So practice makes perfect. Ok. I'll stay with Alexander for 10 minutes and let's go. Ada Azucena Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. <laughs> Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. ¿Quién? Claudia Marisela Solano Crespín. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martínez. Present. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present. Thank you. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Present. Carla Janet Amaya Herrera. Present. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bien, Carolina Mozo Valdés. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante, Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Ahí está, ok. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. No vino ahora. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde, que se tuvo que desconectar. Reina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez, ok. Good guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, we're missing two minutes. Wait, wait. Todos se fueron. Okay, good. Elvin, continue. Another sentence. Let's practice something really quick with you three, okay? Let's go with positive, negative question. One, two, three. Fernando, start. Uh, I have played uh, basketball uh, a few years ago. I've played basketball a few years ago. Elvin, make it negative. Uh, let me see. I I have gone to war. Wait, I have played basketball a few years ago. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> uh, I, I haven't played basketball. A few years I ago. Go. Yeah. Okay. Alexander. Have I? No. Nope. Your microphone. No. Huh? I have I played basketball for a long for a few a few years ago. Long, for a few years. <laughs> Have I played basketball a few years ago? Totally. Okay. okay, guys. See you on Monday. Fernando, Elvin, Ada, Roberto. Good okay. night. Good night. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. What's up? What have you been up to? I'm doing good, actually. Okay. What have you been up to? I have I have been good. Okay. 
And what have you been up to? <laughs> Come on, give me the other answer. Um, okay. I have big food, actually, because I have to, I have to English and practice my English as well because I don't, I didn't work uh, for two weeks. Why was that? And the two uh, coronavirus. What? Really? So it was. Yeah. And well, I am sick, but I feel like the symptoms has been decreased. Have decreased. Okay, the symptoms have decreased. And um, yeah, okay. I mean, can, can you have, have has your smell returned to normal? Um, no, not. A... You can't smell at all still. Wait, you can still no. You still can smell at all. You still can smell at all. Still not. A little bit. Your microphone is failing. I need to change it. Uh oh, they're gonna charge you for it. And I have to go they, back to. Do you have to go back to the office? Uh, no, I work from home, but I need to replacement actually. Yeah. You need a replacement for of your headsets. Yeah, because you said that my headset has a problem. Yeah. Mm, yeah, not yeah. anymore. You just solve it when you move the microphone, it gets fixed. Like a false. There's a false, yeah. False contact. I I have had these uh, headsets replaced and they charged me $40 for it. Yeah, they charged me $40. Really? Mm -hmm. In my case, it's for free, but... <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. That sucks. That really sucks. I don't know why they charge me. But anyways, it is what it is. <laughs> I was like this, you know, I was taking a call and suddenly this part broken. This, this little part, you see, it moves. So it broke. It broke from here. It got broke. So I was like, damn. Man. And they were new and they, these were used with hair. Yeah. Actually, I have just got this headset, this headset before, before getting, before getting sick. Before getting sick. Before getting sick. Okay. Have you returned to work? Monday. Not yet? Not yet. Uh, until Monday. Until Monday. Hey, are you taking English calls or Spanish calls? It's that microphone is going to be my headache. <laughs> kind of, kind of. Get, 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 move it, move it, move it. Wiggle it, wiggle it. Talk. Say something. Can you? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. There you go. There you go. I can hear you now. Okay. So again, you're in a in Spanish account. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Okay. Have you tried being on an English account? Yeah, actually, I receive a uh, once in a blue moon. You receive an English call once in a blue moon. Oh, man, that microphone is not helping. Yeah, but don't, don't just move the microphone. Talk. <laughs> Say something. <laughs> Sing a song. Actually, I am, I am trying to speak. There you go. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, I can, I can hear you. Yeah, it's, it's in Spanish, but actually um, all the system is in English. The whole system is in English? Uh -huh. The whole system is in English. You need to read and translate in order to transmit your message to the customers. Let's try something. Don't move. Freeze. Because when you do this, the microphone turns off. There you go. So you're gonna be, you're gonna have to be taking calls like this tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to... <laughs> report I... it. Report yeah. it. Okay. Okay. Well, let me try. Some. Yep. 
now can you hear? i can hear you now yeah <laughs> now say i'm your father <laughs> <laughs> i'm your father no. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny hey so i'm asking you because lately it has been brought to my attention that the call center that I worked for is hiring people with very low English level for a customer service. Um, average? The, no, it's not even an average. It's like 75%. As an English teacher, okay. I tell you, it's like 70%. Okay. okay. That's amazing. So and I, which what account? It's for customer service. You just get the call. You ask for the name or the card number of the caller, the reason of the call, and if it is for my department, for the disputes department, they you just transfer the caller. Oh, okay. Then you get to talk to me or someone else, but you go like, "Hi, this is." A, there's a lady. It's giving me a headache all the time because the intonation. Hi, this is Rafael. I'm calling you from customer service. And yes, the customer is telling me that he has a problem. Could you help him? I'm like, wow. Es como escucharte hablar español. O sea, tu acento, tu tono, no es, ni siquiera es acento, es la entonación que ocupa alguien en español, alguien mayor en español. It's like, me, por eso suena tan raro. Y sí, es un tono amable, pero. Digo, ah, por eso no era amable. What? Ajá. Uh -huh. Como cuando una señora mayor te trata de, de ayudar y trata de ser buena onda. <laughs> ah, sí. Uh -huh. And so on. So many accent problems or mispronunciations of the M, for example. Uh, things like that. that I, ah, wow. As ever, is working uh, in there, actually. I mean, I'm happy because that means that they're helping people, which is good. Okay. But man, that tells a lot about a call center, I guess. Anyways, um, salvo que esté ocurriendo lo que predu predije yo hace cinco años, esto se va a acabar. O sea, en cuanto al bucket de al, al labor pool, you know what is a labor pool? No, el, el, um, el grupo de personas que sí hablan inglés en El Salvador es bien reduced. O sea, ya llegaron al límite donde ya no hay buena, ya no hay gente deportada, no hay gente que hable bien el inglés. O sea, ya se está acabando eso. So, oh, ahora, todo, <laughs> ajá, ahora ya todo el mundo eh, está saliendo de academia. So, uh, the English level is average. As you said, 80, 85%. It's really weird to find someone with native accent. Yeah. And you know what it is? That. Right. You know what is it? No. You know what yeah. is it? It is the problem that the <laughs> teacher that is teaching English came out of the university and is teaching what he learned from someone from 1970. So this accent goes accent. on and on and on. Yeah. And it's different when you have a teacher that kind of, you know, tries to join the words and you mimic. That's mm, all. Yeah. So if you mimic the sound, that's all. Try to listen to Eminem. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. If you like Eminem, try to listen a little bit more. How he joins the words. Okay. okay. How are your symptoms? I'm feeling good actually. Okay. Are you on disability still? Yeah. Okay. Once your disability tomorrow. Over. Tomorrow. What? Yeah. What about Sunday? I am I am day off. I'm, I'm off. Day off. I'm off. I'm off. I'm off on I'm Sunday. Off. Or that's my day off. Okay. Awesome, man. Hey, rest. Take care. It's nice talking to you. Nice talking to you. Keep practicing, okay? Thank you. I'll see you, you on Monday. See you.